This video was sponsored by coffee. Drink responsibly. Ah, uh, people. Welcome to another Pokemon video. Today we are opening a Hishuin Electrode V-Box. But first, let me get this pizza out of the oven before it burns. Oh yeah. Look at this beauty. PSA 10 pizza. But what am I doing? This is not a cooking channel talking about coffee and pizza. This is a Pokemon channel. And to stay on topic, I just want to show you guys currently painting this beautiful Charizard and Pikachu art. And to be honest, this was really a pain in the ass to paint because the material of the packs is like, it's not rigid, it's like slippery. So I had to like put so many layers of paint, but I'm finally done. All I have to do is put a little Wu-Tang logo right here. That's what I was thinking about doing, but might not do it. I don't know yet, but back to the cards. Let's open this bad boy up. All right, let's open this motherfucker. As you can see, I paid $22.99 with taxes, like 25 bucks for this. So not really bad. Never opened this box before. So I was like, hey, why not open this? It was the least expensive box in the card store and I'm not a millionaire yet. So I wasn't willing to buy one of those huge boxes. And in Canada, the prices are way more expensive than in the United States. Haven't opened a box in a while. Usually I buy like one or two packs per week just to like treat myself at the end of the week. But we have the first promo over here, but it's not actually a promo. As you can see, it does not have the Black Star promo logo, but still a nice holographic to add in the, I think this is from Fusion Strike, not really sure, but I think it is. So nice little holographic to add in my Fusion Strike binder. And we have the actual promo, as you can see, it says Black Star promo, well, just promo, whatever. But we have Electrode or Hishuin Electrode V. Pretty awesome card. Always like the OG Pokemons. That's one of them. Well, not the Hishuin version, but you get what I'm saying. We got the Jumbo version right over here as well. Let's put this Jumbo card with the rest of my Jumbo cards. I don't know if you guys have one of these binders, but I like to collect jumbo cards well not really like it i'm not gonna buy them separately but if they come in a box i like to put them in this little binder as you can see i have all the celebrations jumbo ones but then at the back you got regular v cards two pikachus and we got the newest ones mimikyu ex and sizzlizar ex and then we have this one to add Is it Mio? Usually this box comes with like a code card for the box. I haven't seen one. Oh, it's underneath the packs. Never mind. Here's the code card for y'all. Don't really need this. But here we have a cool selection of packs. We got two Lost Origins, one Astral Radiance, and one Brilliant Stars. Let's get this out of the way. I think we're first going to go with the Lost Origin packs because it's one of them sets that I... Well, one, I don't have a binder for that set yet, so I just put them like in a empty ETB, bo ETB box. And I'm not really familiar with that set, to be honest. Probably one of the set that I've opened the less in the Sword and Shield era, other than Pokemon Go, because that set is trash in my opinion. But four to the front. Let's see if we can pull a, ni a nice alt art from this set. I know we have a Diaga alt art that is really awesome. I'd like to pull. And here we got a regular rare. All right, first pack we got nothing, but we still got redemption with the second one. Feels weird to open uh, older sets because I'm used to I'm I'm used to opening um, Scarlet and Violet. Scarlet and Violet packs and the new sets don't have the card trick so I'm like not not used to doing this anymore Horsey I really like those little things here I think Lost Origin is the only set that has these things which is I don't know it makes it cool and regular rare once again let's move on to Astral Radiance, actually. 
I think I got mixed up. Astral Radiance is the one with the Dialga alt art. I'm pretty sure. I'm not really sure, but hey, who gives a shit, right? Let's open this. Very nice Cyndaquil in the front. Code card. Let's do a little card trick real quick. Boom. Heavy ball. Okay. We got Oxy, Cyndaquil, Growlithe, Scyther, Bronzor, freaking Happy Bird. Oh, nice. Reverse reverse Hollow Glaceon. I'll take that. And nothing, bruh. Come on, man. Final pack. Can we strike out with a last pack magic? Brilliant Star is probably the best set of all these, these sets in this box. So if I can pull one hit out of this set, I'll be happy. Here we have a cold card. Let's do this. I actually want to pull the, um, not the alt art Charizard. Well, actually I would like to pull the alt art Charizard, but I would really like to pull the uh, full art Charizard also. Really nice background, really nice colors in my opinion. Cafe Master, got a little Donkey Kong, got a little Fresh and Fit Girl, Wrestling Bird, we got a Raccoon, little Dinosaur, Ugly ass dinosaur. We got Jackie Chan, Reverse Hollow Flygon, and No Way. Hey yo, what the fuck? Well, don't buy this box. It's absolute trash. Would not recommend it. No, actually, I'm just kidding. Pack selection are very nice. Um, I mean, I'm just not lucky, I guess. But Hopefully, we can redeem ourselves with a final pack. We got a Paldea Evolve pack. I had this on the side in case I did not pull anything in this box, which which was the case, sadly. But maybe I can redeem myself with the newest set. Well, the latest set, actually. Pokemon 151 or 150. One or a 151 whatever you want to call it is coming out in september it's been announced and everything and oops what am i doing and the cards are going to be amazing it's all going to be the og pokemon's really excited for that set but for now we have cool sets like scarlet and violet paldea evolve and the crystal set i'm not really sure what it's called that's coming out after that gonna look forward to that but can we pull something amazing in this final pack? Reverse hollow, reverse hollow, and no way. Come on, man. Okay. Well, like I always tell you guys, I think I have the worst luck in the Pokemon YouTube community. At least two new cards added in the collection, but I was hoping to pull at least something out of the Paldea Evolve pack. Five packs, got no pulls, really sad, but it is what it is, a part of the collecting game, but I'm still happy with these two balls. I gotta stop saying that. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and keep collecting. Isn't that lovely. <laughs>